guys and welcome back to another vlog. I'm Alexia Nicole and I'm living my life by design. And in this video we're going to be doing another keto video, carnivore edition. And I figured I'm actually going to do it Monday through Friday. Today is Sunday but I just got home and look what I see. Look at all of this meat. It just looks like, like, I mean it looks like it tastes good but ugh, ugh, so much meat. That's my stepdaddy for you. But um, yeah, so Monday through Friday this week, I'm going to be a carnivore. Um, and I will read you all what they say the benefits of being a carnivore is. It's not my normal thing. You know, I'm really not even that heavy of a meat eater, but I've been challenged to do it and I'm always up for a challenge. So it's gonna literally be like meat and eggs all week. <laughs> So anyways, y'all, I will see y'all in the morning and we'll see what we'll have for breakfast. Hey guys, and welcome to day one of Keto Carnivore Edition. I'm really not that excited about this, but I'm doing it anyway. Um, it is 10.38 and I just left the doctor and I gave a little blood. I know usually I like to fast until 12, but I need to get some food in my system before I fall out around here. Um, so I'm just like driving down the road on the way to a haircut appointment. KFC. Oh, that's fried chicken. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out like what I can eat. Oh, they probably had grilled chicken, right? But I don't know if I like... Oh, Chick-fil-A. They have those grilled nuggets. Okay, I'll stop at Chick-fil-A and just get grilled chicken nuggets. And that'll be my first meal of the day. Yeah, and I have water with me. So, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Chick fil A. Wonderful day here at Chick fil A. My name is Michelle. May I have your name, please? Alexia. Alexia, how many serve you today? Can I have um, the number six, the eight count, just the entree? Yes, what kind of sauce are you? Um, I will have ranch. Yes, ma'am. What else can I get for you? That's it. Okay, one eight count grilled nuggets, three, four, six. Yes, and one that have great deal. Let's see. Thank you. My pleasure. Just love coming to Chick fil A. They're so polite all the time. So, grilled nuggets with some ranch. That'll be some fat on the side. And my water. Meal number one for the day. Thank you. Have a nice day. You as well, thanks. All right, we got our nuggets. I really, I mean, I'm starving. <laughs> so I'm about to like wharf one of these down real quick. Uh, trying to be on time today for my haircut appointment. Just trying to get my life together here. Which I'll be, yeah, I still got 13 whole minutes. Oh, these nuggets look so pitiful. It's just chicken. Just grilled chicken. Oh, my Lord. Why did I say I would do this? Okay. I'll eat when I get to the parking lot. Okay, this is perfect because Timmy Rowe is not here yet. I'm on time. So I have the Garden Herb Ranch Sauce. Soybean oil, buttermilk, water, sweet. It's probably not like the healthiest ranch. <laughs> it's, okay. Let's see. Well, they smell good at least. They do smell very good. Um, they taste good too. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay. I'm not mad at this at all. Not at all. Win for meal number one. All right. I tore those nuggets up. Ooh, a little H2O. 
that was an eight count. I probably could have did a twelve count. It would have been perfect. But let me not get too excited around here. <laughs> All right. I think I'm gonna have. After this, I'm going to go home and work out, do one of my active workouts, and probably just have like a protein shake or the meal replacement, whatever, from keto. And then I'll probably just have a dinner. Like, I'm just really not like into this eating meat all day type of thing. Maybe I'll just get some salmon. Oh, maybe I'll go to H-E-B and get one of their salmon things. Yes. Okay, y'all. So, I'm back at here. Everything is better. AKA H-E-B. And they have these simple meal things. They have like all kinds of stuff. I love this section. I think I'm gonna get a ribeye steak. See, I mean, I would love to get like one of these with the green beans or something, but I can't have that. So this is just a ribeye steak with garlic butter already on there. You can just pop it in the oven. Like, yes, I could go buy the regular steak from the other section, but I'm being lazy. This is easy to like just pop in and go. It's already seasoned, at least it should be. Yeah, see, it has seasoning on there. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I have a chicken, boneless, skinless chicken breast with ham, Swiss, and quarter and blue stuffing. That sounds really good. And that's all carnivore, kind of right? Because, yeah, ham, cheese comes from somebody's animal. Okay, I might try that. Ooh, okay, I might survive this week. Okay, guys, um, I just got home. It's 2.06 p.m., and I'm hungry, and I honestly want more than a shake, and I just need to take a little nap, and then I'll wake up and work out. Um, so I'm about to find some of those ribs my Step Daddy cooked last night, and um, <laughs> a slice of cheese, string cheese, because I'm a big kid. Right? Carnivore? Cheese is from cats. So there's barbecue sauce right here in front of my face looking oh so tempting. But no barbecue sauce. Why? 13 grams of sugar. 15 grams of carbs. Zero fats. Nothing good about this. There are like websites that sell. I'm going to have to look it up and I'll put it either down here or link it in the description box. That sell like sugarless barbecue sauce and all these keto friendly type stuff um but ain't nobody got time for that i'm gonna eat this rib nice and moist get out of my kitchen aspen and he's still dirty um yeah ready to eat okay y'all i just got back home it's 10 p.m i lost track of time um and i'm hungry but i don't want to eat no meat <laughs> so i think i'm just gonna make like some scrambled eggs and call it a night with that scrambled eggs and tea yeah that's what is going to be for dinner because I really shouldn't even be eating this late but I'm gonna eat something um, and no I didn't work out so I'm probably gonna go upstairs and do 50 squats and 20 push-ups just to say that I did something today and yeah and call it a night so see y'all for day two Good morning, y'all. I've been whipping the Uber wheel all morning, and oh my god. Um, I just wanted to get two um, just meat patties with cheese by themselves. Can y'all do that? Is that the large meat patty or small meat patty? Oh. Make it a large. You want two large meat patties with cheese on it? Yes, please. And that's it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so two large meat patties with cheese? Yeah. Anything to drink for you today? No, thank you. Oh, uh, okay. You're probably 433. First window for me. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all, so I'm hungry. It's 1030. I wake up really, I've been up since like 4, so it's like, it's harder for me to go longer without eating. Um, but anyways, I just ordered two plain meat patties with cheese on this carnivore lifestyle here. Um, so yeah, that's, oh shh. As I wait for my freshly cooked meat patties from Whataburger. If you're not from Texas, then you probably don't know what Whataburger is and you're definitely missing out. Um, but yeah, I'm really gonna have to do this Uber vlog because the guy that I just had in my car, <laughs> yo, he was on, he was on conference call talking about how he was about to fire somebody long term from his office because she'd been stealing money. Like I was getting all 
the tea, okay? <laughs> he was so nice. He's like, I feel so bad, but I mean, you know, good people do bad things sometimes, and you know, you just gotta go with the consequences. You know, she's like a sister to me. Like, he was just really confiding in me, and I was like, man, you know, I'm, I'm gonna say a prayer for you and her. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna definitely do that Uber vlog because that was some good tea. Not that I would put him on, but you know, just to share the stories and stuff like that. <laughs> like, this just looks so sad. Everything about this carnivore diet looks so sad. But I think I feel a two-pack forming already. <laughs> so we're gonna, you know, actually, honestly, y'all, this is easier than just regular keto because with regular keto like once you start doing it a lot like you really get used to what you can and cannot eat but in the beginning of doing just normal keto like it takes a lot of thought to think about what you can and cannot eat and what has slight carbs and sugars in there that you would have never even thought about so just doing carnivore just eating animal byproducts basically is just like oh okay well oh, I know I can't have nothing else but some meat and cheese <laughs> Good morning guys. So I completely forgot to vlog last night what I ate. Um, I went to dinner at Papacitos and I had steak fajita, no rice, no beans. I did have sour cream cheese. I had guacamole on the side which technically isn't carnivore but it's just too good to pass up. And I had like a little bit of brochette shrimp. Brochette shrimp is um, shrimp wrapped in bacon stuffed with monterey jack cheese and there's a jalapeno on the inside so whatever um but yeah i just want to show y'all what i'm eating this morning ordered from denny's got scrambled eggs with cheese and four strips of bacon and it's 9 23 right now i'm eating a little earlier in the day today because i'm going to be gone for majority of the day and um i don't want to get hungry and hangry later and not, you know, really find anything to eat, just depending on like where I'll be and things like that. So I'm just gonna eat now and then fast it out through majority of the day and drink some water. So update y'all later. Okay, y'all, it's lunchtime. I'm hungry. Let's see what this barbecue place has. So there's bread. I didn't ask that. But pulled pork and biscuit. And I'm gonna put in just a drizzle of barbecue sauce on it. All right guys, last meal of the day, it's 7 p.m. and I'm at this place called Crazy Cajun in Houston. They just opened this new one. Well, I don't know how new it is. The last time I tried to come here, it wasn't open yet. So, some seafood tonight. Still carnivore. So I got some boiled shrimp. Um, yeah, I don't know about all this sauce and stuff, but we gonna eat it. And those aren't for me. I promise those are for my friend. She's right on her way. It was happy hour price, so I had to order them. Oh, we got crawfish. Say hey, Jess. Hey, <laughs> just go eat the potatoes and the corn, and I'm just eating crawfish. <laughs> just finished the workout. Now we got some steak and eggs for lunch. First meal of the day, honestly. It's 3 o'clock. Um, I had string cheese around 12, one piece of string cheese, and I did have my tea this morning, but this is like my first actual meal. I feel pretty good, and surprisingly, I'm not hating this carnivore thing as much as I thought I would. Like, I'm shocked. Um, but yeah, I'm about to eat, and I know I still haven't told y'all the benefits of the diet, so I'm going to try to remember to, to go and read that to y'all right now. What is a carnivore diet? The carnivore diet protocol is simple. Eat only animal foods and stay away from everything else. <laughs> this means you're restricting all types of carbohydrates and even requires you to eliminate plants from your diet. It's clearly the complete opposite of vegan. Similar to the ketogenic diet, which is what I normally do, except for this week, the carnivore diet relies heavily on running of fats and protein as a source of energy. I'm not going to read this whole thing. I'll just read this little piece. While science has steered us away from heavy consumption of meat and more towards a plant-based approach for optimal health, the overwhelming amount of positive benefits people are experiencing may make this way of eating a promising tool for better health. <clears throat> and for many of the same reasons people choose to try a ketogenic diet, people who have adopted a carnivore way of eating have reported mental clarity, faster weight loss, improved athletic performance, and a healthier digestive system. The simple approach also makes it alluring for anyone who's looking to follow a diet without having to dive deep into any 
complication nutrition tactics. This means you won't have to worry about counting macros or calories, timing your meals, or intermittent fasting, even though I'm still fasting. All you have to do on the carnivore diet is eat animal products, including dairy, and stay away from everything else. I'll read this other little part. Two things you should avoid. Carbs from candy, vegetables, and any source is 100% restricted on the carnivore diet. And then also it says supplements. All supplements should be avoided. The theory behind the carnivore diet is that all nutrients and minerals your body needs to thrive is contained in the animal foods. Um, what you are allowed to eat, <clears throat> meat, beef, fatty cuts of steak, red meat are the staples to this diet. Since you're not consuming any carbs, you should be getting the bulk of your calories from fattier meats to ensure you're getting enough calories to maintain stable energy levels. Dairy. Technically, dairy comes from animals like milk, butter, cheese are allowed on the diet, but many carnivore dieters try to limit dairy since lactose intolerance has become increasingly common. I'm not lactose intolerant, okay? I like my cheese. Animal fat products such as lard and other animal-derived fats are encouraged to be consumed on the carnivore diet, and you can also have fish. So I had crawfish last night, right? Any type of fish is allowed, although fattier cuts of fish like salmon and halibut are preferred. So that is what the carnivore diet is basically is. It's very simple. Like I said the other day, like learning keto took a lot of brain energy. This is just like, okay, eat meat, eat cheese, eat eggs, and that's it. And it's really not that bad if you enjoy eating those things. Now, if you don't, then this ain't going to work for you. Y'all, it's the end of day four. It's about 7.30 p.m. And I'm going to go to sleep kind of early tonight because I didn't do anything today. So I got to get a jump start on my day tomorrow. But um, I'm just having one of my Slim Fast Keto meal replacement shakes for dinner. And then that's it. That'll be the last meal. Um, I have this app called Zero, And it's just like, it just counts time for you. A fasting app. You literally just start it after your last meal and then you stop it once you have your first meal for the day. And... It just averages out how many fasting hours you're doing, et cetera, et cetera. So I'll turn that on, and then I'll turn it off tomorrow when I have my first meal. So tomorrow's Friday. It's the last day. As easy as this has been, I am still, like, craving a salad <laughs> or something, you know, just something green and leafy. <laughs> Anyways, see y'all tomorrow. All right, welcome to day five. First meal of the day, and I'm having my leftovers, eggs, and steak. And it's legit like 4 p.m. This day has been not what I was expecting. So I actually got hungry earlier and then things kind of went left and then the hunger went away. So I'm just now eating. So yeah, let's eat. All right, guys. So I haven't been that great with this the last day or two. I ate again and I forgot to show y'all, but I kind of, I treated myself to some fried fish. So it's technically still carnivore. And it was like lightly battered, but not too heavy. But I did feel really bloated afterwards. Um, and then I'm about to treat myself to a little stones, ginger wine, and call it a night. So that is the end of this five-day carnivore lifestyle. Um, you know, I might just start including this into my weekly diet. Maybe just go one or two days during the week just doing this and... Just trying a few different things like it's not that bad it was it was pretty okay I could I could enjoy steak and eggs a little more often I wasn't mad at it at all um, but anyways I hope you all enjoyed if you have any questions about it or want to know any more details feel free to hit me up comment down below and I will answer whatever it is that I can't answer for you okay until next time make sure you subscribe like and share bye